So one of the first parts of being a scholarly writer in nursing school is first of all, understanding the different types of scholarly writing that you are expected to do. So what I would advise you as a nursing professor is to look at your assignment, okay, either a future assignment that's coming up or maybe even a past one that you did either really well or very poorly, you decide. But take a look at the assignment instructions and pay close attention to the words that are being used in the assignment guidelines. Things like um, to describe, to critique, to reflect, to analyze, right? Those words are meant to get you to do very distinct things, okay? So for example, if you have a reflection assignment when your professor says reflect on your clinical day, right? This is where you are not only describing what happened, but you are expected to think deeply about that issue. You're supposed to think and reflect and analyze kind of what happened, okay? Versus let's say, um, a critical analysis paper where you're critically analyzing articles or some sort of research, okay? That's very different. When you're critiquing, you are making an assessment or making an evaluation of something, right? You are digging into the details and looking into um, very specific things about the issue and making an evaluation about it. So my advice to you as if you want to become a scholarly writer, the first step to doing that is understanding your assignment instructions, paying close attention to those key words, describe, evaluate, reflect, analyze, critique, um, persuade, things like that, right? Pay attention to those words because that's going to inform the type of writing that you, that you do for your assignment. So hope that helps and good luck on your next assignment.